What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel. This is Cedar Ridge Chronicles. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. Today I'm going to show y'all my cape stretcher. I had somebody the other day ask me about what kind of cape stretcher I was using. Since I use those salt frames, keep them stretched out really wide, show y'all what they look like. These right here. I'll actually bend those and stretch them out depending on how big the deer is. And when I slide that cape down on them, I'll make it to where it's so hard to pull down, I can't even hardly get it over that frame. And it just holds that frame out while that salt penetrates. Really keeps that cape from uh, shrinking as bad. On some of the forms, especially with a head down or with a, a really twisted a wall pedestal form, I may have to get a little bit extra stretch out of it just to make my wrinkles and that sort of thing. So what I've got, y'all check this dinosaur out. <laughs> This right here is a piece of two inch steel pipe. And a good friend of mine, his name's Chad, he actually made this thing for me because I have absolutely no idea how to weld. Uh, most y'all probably either know how to weld or know somebody that knows how to weld. All I've got is a car jack. It's one of those that you actually twist, you know, here on the end. And he has cut this pipe. He just cut a section out of it. And this is that section. And he just welded the jack to this pipe and then welded it to the inside of this part. You can take this and you can slide that up into the neck of a deer and just turn that. And as that expands right there, it'll just stretch that cape right out. One thing that he did do when he made this for me, he designed this to slide into his mounting stand. He made his own mounting stand also and it will receive that two inch metal. Mine is about an inch and a half receiver. So when he made this for me, he had made it with the expectations of it to slide into my stand so that I could use it, you know, mounted up on the floor. But since it won't fit, I just use it here on the table. Works just fine, ain't no problem. But you know, if you're gonna make your own, build it to where it'll slide right into that. You can slide your cape on there, do it right there, slide it back out, good to go. Some of those things go for upwards of six, $700. And I would love to have just a big old gigantic stainless steel hydraulic but there again, you know, just not there yet. I mean, one of these days I might decide I've just got tons of money laying around and just want to go and spend it on something I don't really need. And at that day I will own one. <laughs> and one of these days I might, but for right now, that right there does the job. And when that completely disintegrates from rust, I'll probably call him and have him make me another one and just start right over again because that's gotten me through now probably three or four years since he made me that thing. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate y'all watching. Y'all hit that subscribe button if you hadn't done it already. We'll see y'all next time.